Okay, so we need to find a bag. That's 20 inch. We need some like a uh, 15 inch, which don't look like neither one of these are. did this a long time ago but excuse me ma'am excuse I'm a little over your head how big is this one oh, that's too big too oh man I don't find no luck in here yeah I'm back home I didn't find a um, suitcase pretty much um, Dre say you have one but I'm gonna check that out because I still have a few days that I could get one I just totally forgot that the kids gonna be leaving uh, for two weeks and I forgot that they're gonna be pretty much taking this okay so but anyway um I found this little two-piece guest little outfit it was I think it was twenty dollars for this because it is the top two as well but I found it in the um the nightgown location I don't think it's a nightgown though I don't know it's cute too cute to be a nightgown to me but it was $19 for it so I don't know it's a large I'm gonna try it on I like my bottoms not to fit tight but to fit me because I don't have too many curves but I have curved enough to the point that I like to show them from here and there from time to time and then I found these shapers it is these two packs because I ain't lost all the weight that I want to lose so these was $12.99 but I want something to pretty much do what it's pretty much saying tuck in that tummy that's what I need yeah I know that's what I need that's just... so yeah hopefully this fit um, works and look good up under my clothing and last thing I bought was me a bra it's, it's a push up bra I don't have these things to sit up honey yes yes but it was it was six out of nine. So that's pretty much all that I found in Ross. Right, guys. So this is the two piece. You see how it fit on me? It's cotton. I know I ain't got the two minute cakes back there yet. But I like it because I can hide some in the stomach. But it is a little haughty top. I don't mind like some of my little scripts my show, but not baby like all out. That is so ugly. But oh I forgot to show you guys. I did lose a little bit more weight compared to what it was before um my bad i ain't mean to flash y'all but yeah this is how i look it's not bad i like it i didn't even see another one in the um two weeks so yeah it's cute it's cute but, uh, i had a little scratch my little bit but oh you can wear it for a nighty, but i think it's more for uh, just a little bit of chill or outing or something like a little something you go run to the grocery store you know out and about do a little shopping in it or whatever the case may be but yeah and i didn't tell you guys today is friday so happy friday to you queens and kings yeah so what i'm about to go do now is actually go ahead and start packing the kids stuff because honey they'll be out of here early in the morning early morning I'm get rid of them they ain't coming back to july the second i'm gonna have two weeks without them so but you know one of the weeks i'm pretty much gonna be on vacation i'm gonna come back i'm gonna take two more extra days off before i return back to work which will be a wednesday and i won't pick the kids up until that saturday so yeah which will be july the second i wouldn't let them say that for fourth of july but i had to work that day so yeah but i'm liking this this is comfortable child these thighs one thing about these thighs they gonna eat baby they is gonna eat y'all seen that tiktok <laughs> They is going to eat. But I'm losing my little fupa. So I just hope these shape will just hold it in a little bit more. A little bit more. Okay. Now what I don't like is like this little puffiness right here. But it's okay, child. I guess that's what happened when you ain't got that much booty. I don't know. But. Okay, so these is the shape wear. This is pretty much how I look. This is how I look. It's doing something. 
I just know I need to work on this here. Like, I can't stand this. This is what I really wanted to, like, hold that little poof in. But if I pull it down, it's going to roll down. So, but not bad. I can still live with it, you know. I can still live with it. So, we're getting out. I can see, like, the structure of my body shaping. So, Joe, she gonna be fine, fine. <laughs> Ain't it right, Andre? Yes. Oh, okay then. Mama finna be body, yada yada. Play with it. I'm gonna be like them girls, like they be doing in the mirror. Try to be doing all this little number here. And they do all this number here. Girl, you see it? Do y'all see it? Y'all see it? It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Keep going, man. You doing a good job. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let me stop playing. Let me go pack this boy stuff here. Up. You ready to go to your grandma? Yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah. Oh, say so you just. So you just tell the queens and kings. You'll talk to them um in July, okay? Yeah. All right then. So y'all in July, he say. That's tomorrow. No, baby. That's that's not. That's too soon. Pop your brakes. Too soon. That's not tomorrow, yeah. baby. You got a couple days from here. You got two weeks and some days from now. Don't rush it. Don't rush it. All right? All right? Do you know what going to be alone the whole house? Huh? Do you know what I mean? going to be the low of the house? No, house. child. Have your daddy here. Aggravating. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You didn't get copyrighted. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Now I got a big old mouth. Now I got a big old butt. So we're here, as you all can tell. About to get rid of the kiddos. <laughs> I'm so happy. Aren't you happy, Andre? Yep. So what? Exactly. The house even. The house get a rest. The house even get a rest, y'all. The house get a rest. Oh, I'm about to get ready to go to the store. Go get some stuff for the bring here to the house. Hey, Bill, I'm in the mood for a switcher. I hit the function, hit the rose till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave with money that's a sticker. She picture perfect, so I told him I'm a flicker. Bill, I'm in the move for a change up. I leave the city and return with my change up. They got amnesia, don't remember how they played us. They want to knock me down, but somehow I just stay up. Look, straight from the mud like Ruby. Straight to the stage, they love me. Understand they hungry, but please don't hate, that's ugly. I've been sliding, shaking, moving, I've been popping in my city. Shawty say she love the way we do it, do it with me. I be too turned up to ever give a fuck. I ain't come to argue, let a nigga fuck. They been talking pennies, I need bigger bucks. About to catch a flight, I need to switch it up. Got that black boy joy, might do my dance on him. Take no disrespect, might put my hands on him. Enter your phone number or scan your rewards card now. Scan items which need help to call for a shopper assistant. 3 Going, where is the rooster? Child, <laughs> the hell he walking to his fashion. It is.
Mom, what you got? They ain't got nothing my size. Look, Tracy, I should get this so I can wear it out tonight. Sexy split on him. I say, I say, this what you wearing? He say, yeah. I say, good. I ain't gotta be the only one over there. Yeah, so pretty much that's what it's gonna be. I need little booty shorts. Booty shorts. Oh. Yeah, $10 for them. Little booty shorts. Booty, 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 booty wrecking everywhere. That's a onesie. Look like it. I wouldn't see it too. A onesie. Awesome. No place like home. Ooh. Need some glitter ass shoes here. Glitter those on. This is too much. These are cute. Those are cute too. Do they got big foot people size? Yeah. 12, 83. Hello. Yeah. Not the hat with the weed. That was funny. I'm telling you, who Like my hat. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Where they parking at me? Hey, Queens and Keys. So, we're on our way now to my father in law surprise birthday party. Look, look at my other hair back there. He's sharp as a motherfucker. Y'all can't tell Dre shit. My brother in law. You can't tell him shit. He got a taco meat out. Shit. Oh, what a lie. Oh, oh, what a lie. <laughs> Oh my God! Told you he's a gigolo. He ain't nothing but a gigolo. And everybody know that I call him gigolo and know why. And so do she. Oh, that thing said no food from the outside of the pool. Man, watch me work. Cutity is a hill. Oh, this is so cute. Y'all remember my sister-in-law? Oh, I thought she was taking a picture of me. Got him. Thing that we're 
somebody to tell it. <laughs> I can tell you that many didn't think we were going to make it. Many. But they didn't know what God had planned. Remind so, I thank God for him bringing you into my life. And he say I ain't going nowhere. But, so I'll say you not going nowhere. And you're going to have to bear with me. I'm trying to be bold about this right here. But I'm going to try to sing this song to you. Had to practice. Oh, wait a minute, y'all backup singers too? Oh, y'all got to dance tonight. Oh, I'm about to back up and do two steps. I used to cry myself to sleep at night. I was lost before you came. I thought that had to hurt to turn out right. Thank you guys, thank you guys. I want to thank everybody for coming out and uh, not finding Robert to spend this evening with me. Um, like I told my kids, I kind of figured they were coming, but I didn't see all this. My wife really pulled a rabbit out of her hat this time. I appreciate you. I love you too. Thank you for all you are, thank you for what you are, thank you for what you, you turned me into. Thank you for just being that rock for me. Allow me to know that I can and I'm worthy. Um, you know, I, I, I look back and as you get older, you learn to, to appreciate and reflect uh, a lot more on your life. And um, it was so special for me because I saw all the generations of my life out here. I saw from my childhood to my teenage years to where I'm at now to, to the whole 
process and it just it just sits with your world in of emotions and thoughts. But the most thing you thought was just how you were gone. I try not to be emotional about people, but this it does, it does crack a chord with me. Because I can take you to Hey Queens and Kings, so we're done made it back home. We drove back this morning actually. We got on the road around about 12 o'clock in the morning. We was gonna stay, but we was like, you know what, we wanna get to our bed. So we drove on back home. But I had to tell you guys, listen, I had so much fun at my father-in-law uh, surprise a 50th birthday party. I might add <laughs> like it was so amazing like just to be around family and friends and you know all the people who love him appreciate him like it was so many people coming to the talking it was a lot going on I didn't put everything in because honey I record all night long like I didn't want to make this vlog too long but I enjoyed the clips that I did put in here I hope you guys enjoyed the clips too as well um it was just was an amazing night. Um, we all got up there and spoke. Um, I didn't get to record that. My mother-in-law have that live on her Facebook, I believe, or whatever. So, you know, I was very emotional speaking of my in-law. Like, I'm emotional now. I'm, I'm sad to say we're very emotional about a lot of stuff. But when you go to speaking and things from your heart, talking how you feel, you know, expressing how you feel, talking how you feel, expressing how you feel, you know, a lot of emotion come out. But I have to say that man there, that is the second father in my life. And I love him dearly. Like he's my first father. You know. That man has helped me through a lot with his son. <laughs> he is very open. He's an open door. You can talk to him about everything. He's going to give it to you blood raw. If you like it. You don't like it. But it's all about love at the end of the day. He loves his family dearly. He loves his kids dearly. That man is amazing. And I was just so happy that I can be a part of celebrating his 50th birthday. You get that? So I've physically been in his life, what, nine years? Nine years, and I'd say so far have been amazing. But I hope you Queens and Kings enjoyed this. I'm going to try to edit the video. I did have another video coming out today other than this video, but the company have not reached back to me. So, basically, I just pretty much, this video fall in line with the weekend vlog. So, I hope you queens and kings enjoyed it. If you all did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll talk to you all in pretty much when we get ready to start to go to Houston. Pretty much, because I'll be starting vlogging for Houston tomorrow, but... Yeah, uh, I still haven't found a suitcase. Uh, I still haven't tried Dre's suitcase out to see is it 15 inches because I found out within 15 inches it's going to be a personal bag. So, yeah. But, um, oh, I also have not talked to the kids. I'm trying to wait for a while, which I know they up for now because they've been sleeping.